Alhamdulillah, my topic for today's gathering workshop was importance of tazkiyah for the youth. And I planned quite a few things that this is what I'm going to say. And somebody ended up saying it. So I'm not going to say that again. It's been a long day. I don't want to keep holding everyone. So pretty much everything is said. Everybody is aware what tazkiyah is. To summarize, it's just our duty towards our Creator. Just like we are physically dutiful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are also spiritually dutiful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have obligations in, our, in terms of our spirit, our ruh. Just like our body needs to be clean for any type of najasat, our soul has to be clean. Right? And if it's not clean, then it's affected by shaitan. And if it's affected by shaitan, and then shaitan brings hopelessness. Shaitan brings doubt. Just like in yesterday's uh, Bayan program, Hazaji was saying, one of the things shaitan is going to do to you is going to put doubts about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart. That's the importance of tazkiyah. If you don't do tazkiyah, if the youth doesn't care about tazkiyah, it's going to bring doubts. And people might say, well, so what? The thing is that once you start doubting the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then the blessings from your life is gone. Because your ultimate goal is to reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's where the real success and your comfort lies. Your comfort is nowhere else. You just might think, okay, some people doubt the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and some people feel, no, pious, alhamdulillah, I've been brought up in a, such a good environment, I can never doubt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But then, you doubt the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is razaq. And as that adults, grown-up adults who have grown up in good environments, they start doubting, who's going to give me rizq tomorrow? I'm going to open up my store, where's the rizq going to come from? Now you're now doubting the zat, the, the, be, the being of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you, but you're now today you're doubting the attributes of Allah. You cheat. You don't uh, conduct ethically. You don't do ethical business because uh, you think you doubt the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that razaqiyat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You... I would doubt the lutuf, the, 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 that Allah is latif, He can bring the pleasantness in your life. And you think that if I don't do such and such, I would not be happy. But you, because now today you're doubting the attributes of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings hopes in your life. And shaitan brings doubts. And he brings poverty and fear in your life. shaytanu yaidukum al faqr And then when you're hit by that, man, that many of doubts and depressions and you're hurting your soul, then you are a depressed soul, you are a depressed person. Then if you go to an extent, then you start doing terrible things. Right? Just like those terrible things that took place in Buffalo and Texas. All these are, we live in this society. The hurtful things happen because our soul is not clean. So it is very important that our youth, they connect to this Tazkiyah workshop. Because I'm not going to talk a lot, I'm not going to talk a lot. You know what Tazkiyah is, it's about doing it now. That's what the workshop is about. And inshallah, we'll be trying some things and Hazrat is going to tell us and it's going to improve our iman and it's going to bring some newness in your soul and you will see a better yourself. You'll better yourself. You'll bring hope. It would, you'll, feel, you'll feel that if I conduct myself in a way, Allah is going to give me. I don't have to be jealous. I don't have to be jealous of you because Allah gave you something. Why do I have to be hopeless with Allah and be jealous of, of someone else, my brothers? I cannot break my family structure. Today, family structures are broken because of jealousy, right? Because of anger. Anger management. I deal with this anger management things every single day. And everybody thinks, has so much ego, they don't want to listen to anyone. They're already, they're already to break their uh, families. They think their house, this physical structure is the house. No, it's not the house. It's your heart. It's the condition of your heart. That harmony, that, that is the house. Today, our harmonies of the house is broken. Our lives are shattered. Why? Because of the lack of tazkiyah. Because our anger is out of control. Our ego is out of control. Our jealousy, we, you know, you name it. There's problems, right? So this is the importance of tazkiyah. That's why we come here, right? If you think this is not important, if you don't have time for this, what else are you building, right? What else are you building? People have 30 years of marriages. They break down. And all their life they spent building a house, building a family. 30 years later they break down, they break apart. Why? Because the anger was never managed. Because your ego was never controlled. Because you never learned to respect each other. Maybe because you never learned how to treat your children right. 
So if you think you're busy in the worldly life because you're building a fortune for yourself, you're not building anything if you don't have tazkiyah in your life. So this spending one day in the khanqa with the presence of Hazrat in the companionship, because tazkiyah comes with companionship, you can just not listen to the lectures and bring tazkiyah in your life. If you're not doing that, then whatever you're doing for your life, 30, 40 years from 8 to 10, you're doing two jobs, three jobs, doesn't matter. You're not building anything. You'll lose that in a heartbeat. So that's the importance of Tazkiyah. That's the importance of Tazkiyah in adult life. That's the importance of Tazkiyah. It's a lost fortune. It's a lost virtue that we, we don't really care about. But I see that. I see that in action every day. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to be punctual in these things. They are not very hard. These are all doable things.